colorectal cancer, screening, and risk factors. Colorectal cancer is caused by an uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in the colon or rectum. It is the fourth most common type of cancer in the U.S. So let's take a look at the risk factors for colorectal cancer, why screening is so important, and how this screening is done. A cancer risk factor is anything that increases your chances of developing a specific type of cancer. Colorectal cancer is more common in people over the age of 50, but is being seen more and more in younger individuals. People who have a parent, sibling, or child with colorectal cancer are at a higher risk of developing it themselves, especially if the family member was diagnosed before the age of 50. Those with a personal or family history of precancerous colorectal polyps, abnormal growths in the colon or rectum, are also at increased risk. And if you've had colorectal cancer, there is a risk of the cancer returning. Black and African American individuals are at higher risk, although the reasons for this are not fully understood. And about 2% of American Jews of Eastern European descent have DNA changes that increase their risk. If you fall within this group, ask your doctor about genetic testing for inherited cancer risk. Inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, which includes ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, also puts you at higher risk. And finally, lifestyle factors like being overweight, being inactive, having a diet high in red meat and or processed meats, smoking, and heavy alcohol use can all increase your risk of developing colorectal cancer. The good news is that many colorectal cancers can be prevented through regular screening. That's why it's so important to get screened. Screening can find precancerous polyps so they can be removed before they turn into cancer. Screening is especially important because, when found early, colorectal cancer is highly treatable. But these early stages of colorectal cancer usually cause no symptoms. So the only way to find out whether cancer is present is through screening. A colonoscopy is the best screening test available for colorectal cancer. In fact, many cases of colorectal cancer can only be detected by colonoscopy. Before the test, you will receive instructions from your doctor on what to eat and how to empty your bowels. On the day of the colonoscopy, you will receive medication to help you relax. Most people sleep right through the procedure. During the colonoscopy, your doctor inserts a long, flexible tube into your colon through the rectum. At the end of the tube, a tiny video camera and light allow your doctor to examine the lining of your entire colon to check for polyps or tumors. If any polyps are found, they can be removed during the test. It is usually recommended to start having colonoscopies at age 45. People at increased risk may be advised to start earlier. If you're unable to have a colonoscopy, your doctor can give you information about other tests and how often they should be performed. You should know, however, that these tests are not as thorough as a colonoscopy. And if a polyp or tumor is suspected based on one of these tests, you will still need to have a colonoscopy. Talk with your doctor about your risk factors and when you should be screened for colorectal cancer. A message from Cancer Care. Learn more at www.cancercare.org slash colorectal. Cancer Care provides free resource navigation, individual counseling, and support groups over the phone, virtually, and in person with oncology social workers and resource navigators who specialize in helping people affected by cancer. To talk with one of our social workers, call 1-800-813-HOPE. That's 1-800-813-4673. Our social workers can help you navigate the emotional, practical, and financial challenges of cancer. The content presented in this video is provided for your information only. It is not intended as a substitute for medical advice. We encourage you to take information and questions to your healthcare provider.